Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to find sum of digits in a given number. So what is the meaning of this one? Let us try to understand. For example, I am going to write the number called 123. So this has to separate each digit 1, 2, 3 and it has to perform addition between these digits. So it must give me 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So it is going to add each and every digit of the given number. Now let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace. I am going to write iostream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in an angular brace. We will write console input output dot h header file. Now we are going to write wide main function curly open brace and here in a declaration section I am going to declare all the variables which are to be used in the program using the data type int. I am going to write n and then sum is equal to 0 and then I am going to write one more variable called digit which is used to take out a single digit from the entered number. Next I am going to write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen and this one is to be written after declaring the variables. If you want to write, you can write. Otherwise, you can omit this uh, particular statement. Now we will ask the user to enter the number using cout stream insertion operator. In a double quotation mark, I am going to write enter the number and the double quotation mark and put semicolon. Now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using c in stream extraction operator and we are going to use this variable called n and then put semicolon and now we are going to use the while looping construct so while is a keyword it should be written in lowercase letters only now we are going to check out the condition whether n is not equal to 0 if it is not equal to 0 then the control has to enter into the body of while loop so curly open brace indicates this is the beginning of body of a while loop here I am going to write digit is equal to n modular division by 10 and then sum is equal to sum plus digit and then put semicolon n is equal to n integer division by 10 and then curly closing brace. So this indicates it's a termination point of a while loop. Now let us write the C out statement. So C out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I am going to write sum of digits is equal to end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator and value will be stored in the variable called sum. Here I am going to write sum put semicolon write get ch function curly closing brace for this main function. Now let us take an example here I am going to write output. So once we compile and run this program, it will ask the user to enter the number. Now I am going to enter 123 for example. So this value will be stored in n. n is equal to 123. Now we are going to check out while n is not equal to 0. Yes, it is not equal to 0 because 123 has got value which is not equal to 0. It is true. If it is true, then the while consisting of these three instructions, these three instructions will get executed. Once this condition is true, control enters into the body of this while loop and it is going to execute the first statement as digit is equal to n is what 123 modular division by 10. So modular division always returns us the remainder after division. So 10 ones are 10 twelve are 120. 3 is the remainder correct so 3 will be stored in digit next sum is equal to sum is equal to sum plus digit sum is equated with value 0 for the first time why because if i do not write sum is equal to 0 this particular variable may be holding some garbage value the value which is executed by the previous program may be present in this particular variable so along with that it is going to add and we are going to get the garbage output in order to avoid that we have to write sum is equal to 0 now sum value is what 0 
plus digit is what digit is 3 so 0 plus 3 is 3 so 3 is is initialized to sum next we are going to perform n is equal to n is 123 integer division by 10 so whenever we use integer division this always gives us the quotient as i said 10 ones are 10 12 are 120 so 12 will be the quotient now n value is 12 so first iteration is over again control transfers to while to check whether n is not equal to 0 or equal to 0 here n value is 12 12 is not equal to 0 once again the control enters into the body of while and it is going to execute these three instructions i am going to write here digit is equal to now n value is 12 modular division by 10 modular division always gives us remainder 10 ones are 10 ones are 2 is the remainder so 2 will be stored in digit next sum is equal to sum plus digit now the value of sum is what 3 earlier it was 0 now it is updated with value 3 so 3 plus digit is what digit is 2 now correct so 3 plus 2 is 5 next n is equal to n is 12 integer division by 10 this gives us what 10 ones are 10 ones are quotient is 1 so this completes the second iteration now n value is 1 again control transfers to while to check whether the n value is not equal to 0 here 1 is not equal to 0 yes it is true once again these three set of statements will get executed i am going to write here digit is equal to n value is what 1 modular division by 10 so there is a better basic mathematic rule if the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator acts as a remainder and quotient becomes 0 so here 1 is less than 10 hence 1 will be acting as a remainder hence 1 will be stored in a digit next we will write sum is equal to now sum value is what 5 plus digit is what 1 so 5 plus 1 is 6 next we will write n is equal to n is what n is 1 then integer division by 10 so as i said as a basic mathematical rule when the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator acts as a remainder and quotient becomes zero when we use integer division it gives us quotient so hence it is going to return zero so zero is going to be stored in a variable called n now the third iteration is over so again control transfers to while loop now n value is zero so zero is not equal to zero no condition fails once the condition fails then the control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to execute the next statement so next statement is sum of digits here it is going to print sum of digits is equal to and the value stored in a sum so latest iteration consisting of sum is equal to 6 so it is going to print 6 you can see here 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives us 6 hence it is printing sum of digits is equal to 6 now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error now i'm going to press enter let us run this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user to enter the number for example i'm going to enter 123 and i'm going to press enter here it is showing sum of the digits is 6. i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you mm -hmm.